What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be doing a little review on this Village Lux candle kit. So this kit is great for someone who is just starting out in the candle making business. Someone that just wants to do this for a hobby, try, you know, making candles on their own. Anyway, let's jump into it. You've got directions here on this card. So what I like about this is it's step by step, super easy. They also have photos that you can, you know, look at to as well while following the directions. Everything that you need to make your candles is in this kit. So we're going to go through everything that is in here and let's jump into it. So the one thing I noticed is it's coconut wax, which I absolutely love working with coconut wax. So here we've got six candle wicks and the wick stickers and you have some warning labels. All right, and then they include three fragrances for you. So we've got Island Hibiscus, we have Kaleidoscope Days, and the last one is the Neon Blossom. So, but these are the ones that I got. And another nice thing is they include this nice pitcher. So you've got a nice pouring pitcher. A lot of times you have to buy all this stuff separately, so that's what's nice that they include this. And then you have these matte, and also you've got frosted. I think one's a, a frosted. This one's a black matte, which I really love the black matte vessels. They do not have lids, so just be aware of that if that's something you're expecting. Um, they do have the frosted white which is also very pretty. So I think I'm gonna do the Island Hibiscus in this frosted white. So these are pretty, and they're about a seven ounce candle vessel. So they will hold about seven ounces of wax. And then you have the brown color. I'm not quite sure what color this is, maybe amber. So yeah, you've got the amber as well. So three different types of colors, um, and then you get two of each. So that's really cool. And what I'm really excited for is we've got this coconut soy wax. So this is a really nice rich blend of wax. I love, love the coconut soy wax. It is my number one favorite wax to work with. All right, so in this little bag, we've got our little stickers. These are our warning labels that we want to put on the bottom of each vessel. So go ahead and take those warning labels. Go ahead and stick them on first. Sometimes I put them on last, but you can easily forget to put those on. So that's why I make this just the first thing that I do. Now what you want to do is just take a little bit of alcohol. I use 91%. It... Um, evaporates faster. So I just clean out the bottom and the sides of each vessel, get it all nice and clean and prepared so that way the wick will stick to the bottom. You don't want any dust or anything, you know, down in the bottom of that vessel before you pour your wax and also stick your wicks down in there. Now what you're going to do is take those little, um, wicks and you're going to stick those onto the stickers and try to get as close to the center of the bottom of the candle and just stick that down in there and so what I'll do is stick that in there make sure it's in there and then I'll take something to stick it down in there maybe a knife or something just to press it against the bottom of that vessel now I just take this and I set this right on top so that way it holds the wick nice and straight Now it's time to measure out the wax, so I'm going to go ahead and pour this in. They do the measurements in grams, so just make sure you're aware of that. Most of the time I go by ounces, but in this case they go by grams. This wax is amazing. I love how nice it feels. It's not real greasy. They're nice and dry uh, little pellets. All right, so once you go and measure your wax out, you're going to heat that up. Just do slow bursts of heat in the microwave or you can do it over a double boiler um, and then what you're going to do is take that out and you're going to check the heat so i use this little temperature thermometer thing uh, this thing works perfect i'll list um, this in one of my storefronts my amazon storefront but yeah you want your your wax to be like right about 150 ish so here i'm going to be taking the island hibiscus once it reaches that temperature, I'm going to pour this in nice and slow. So this is going to make two of the Island Hibiscus candles. So just one of these fragrance bottles will equal two candle vessels. 
So you're gonna stir that. I usually stir for about a minute to two minutes at the most, um, just to make sure that wax and the fragrance oil get all nice incorporated. Now it's time to pour. Slowly just pour that wax into each one of those vessels. So here I chose the frosted, the white frosted vessel for my island hibiscus candles. So I'm gonna do a little bit at a time. All right, let those sit for a couple hours. So we're going to take our little wick holders off the top and if there are any sinkholes or any frosting and you're not happy with it, use that heat gun. But in this case, these turned out very, very well. I mean, that's why I said I love working with the coconut soy wax. It just makes a perfect candle. Now I'm going to take my wick clippers and just trim those wicks down to about a quarter inch making sure my my sticker is on the bottom, and now we're gonna go over to Canva. I make all my labels, everything in Canva, and here is what the labels are gonna look like. Then I will go over to my Cricut machine, and here is the Cricut program. I've got another label in here I need to print, so I hate wasting paper, or sticker paper, so I'm going to Go ahead and attach these together, and then I'm gonna print, and then I'm gonna cut. Now just take those labels, they're nicely cut out, and just lay those there on your vessel. You can create them however you'd like. This is just something quick that I came up with. And I'm pretty happy with the way they turned out. Like I said, this would be a great little project for someone uh, that just wants to make candles, wants to try it out, but this pack, you know, this kit comes with every single thing that you need to get started. Everything other than the labels. So that is one thing um, you will have to get on your own are the labels.